Today, there's one very special custom-built truck that promises to take the pickup blazing into the 21st century. The Sidewinder Dakota is a high-performance prototype race truck. It was built to try and break the world record for the fastest pickup truck. To do that, it would have to go over 210 miles an hour. A daunting task for a truck with the aerodynamics of a brick. The Sidewinder was designed by Gail Banks and his team of engineers at his shop in Azusa, California. We're a consulting engineering company that does engine design, propulsion system design, a total drivetrain, or complete prototype vehicles. Banks is the go-to guy when Detroit wants their future engines tested. I'm a hot rodder. I've done this all my life. Started in 1954, hot rodded my first car between 54 and 56. My life is all about moving air into and out of engines. This is how you make them efficient. This is how you make them powerful. The Sidewinder project began in January 2001. It was a joint venture among Banks Engineering, Cummins Engines, and Robert Bosch Corporation. The original goal was to build the next generation pickup truck using a diesel engine. I wanted to do something to show the general public that diesels could be sporty. They could be fun, fast, powerful, quiet, clean, uh, and efficient. And they could do all of this in a much smaller package than a full-size truck. When Banks got a hold of a new common rail fuel injection system, along with a radical variable geometry turbocharger, he figured he could get the truck to go over 200 miles an hour. The variable geometry turbocharger allows you to have a big turbocharger, but good response from an idle. In other words, you don't have what's called turbo lag. To go where no truck had gone before, Banks and his team fitted the turbocharged engine into a custom-built Dodge Dakota. The engine, it turned out, was so big they had to extend the dashboard nearly a foot. We took the horsepower to 735 horsepower, the torque to 1,300 pound-feet of torque, and we literally beefed up the rest of the drivetrain and did the suspension properly so the truck would be very good at over 200. Check out the final product. If you want to make horsepower, you have to make big airflow. In the case of this Cummins, we've increased the airflow by a factor of three. The air enters the car through the aperture on the front fascia. It's rammed into the turbocharger's compressor, and from there, it flows through this outlet tube into a custom intake manifold through a ported and polished cylinder head into a stainless steel exhaust manifold through the turbine housing, powering the turbocharger, and off to the world. On Saturday, October 19, 2002, the Sidewinder was ready for its day of reckoning. The location? Speed Demon's favorite straightaway, the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. I think the one quality that is the lure of Bonneville is speed. As an engine builder, an engine developer, it keeps my heart rate up for a long time because you're running five miles minimum wide open throttle. And then you're coming back again. So the thing has to live through it. The world record for a diesel powered truck was set in 1987 by a Chevy Love pickup called the Hooker. It clocked in at 159 miles an hour, a speed Banks was sure he could easily top. What he wanted was to be the fastest pickup truck, gas or diesel, ever. The goal he set out to beat was 210.069 miles an hour, a mark that Banks himself set in 1990 in a GMC Cyclone non-turbocharged V6. So this was familiar territory. Driver Don Alexander had to qualify on the first two runs, and that meant he was not allowed to drive over 175 miles an hour. But Alexander quickly realized that in getting up to that speed, wheel slip was a serious problem. The hardest part of the runs with the Sidewinder was putting the power on the ground. On the first run, found very quickly that the traction was the biggest issue. And when you freewheel the back wheels, the vehicle skates around. It's very hard to hold it straight. To keep the power on the ground and the Sidewinder straight, Alexander decided he better lay off of flying full throttle until sometime later in the next run. Conditions for a record run were perfect. It was clear, calm, and cool. The salt was firm. Truck and driver were feeling it. Around the four mile mark, the Sidewinder became the first ever diesel powered truck to break 200 miles an hour. And it kept accelerating. 
If you imagine the first three miles are at part throttle because you just can't put the power down. And then finally, you, as we say, lace it and run the fourth and fifth mile at wide open throttle. At the end of the run, Sidewinder was doing a blistering 216 miles an hour. The second run was even better. The truck made 218. But Banks wasn't done yet. He knew his truck could go 220, and he wasn't going to settle for anything less. The third run was clocked at 220, and the fourth was the best one of all. The Sidewinder hit an awesome top speed of 222.139 miles an hour. It was now officially the world's fastest pickup truck. It's a wonderful thing to hold a world record. It's the ultimate thing for a gearhead like myself uh, because it's the ultimate validation of what you've done as a gearhead. Trucks have come a long way in the near century they've been around. From the ranch to the racetrack, from the salt flats to the city streets, trailblazing innovators like George Barris, Spence Murray, Bill Maverick Golden, and Gail Banks have taken what Detroit has put out and topped it. No matter what they do in Detroit, we'll find a way to improve it. We intend to lead the market. We intend to go fast because we're racers, and we always find a way. Their achievements inspire a new generation to build trucks that will look cooler, pull harder, and go faster. So if you own a truck, get the blowtorch out, put some muscle in because the most outrageous pickup trucks on Earth are built to look good, run slick, and rock your world. I'm Bill Goldberg. Thanks for watching.